Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh and today we're going to take some of the leading manufacturers of rimfire ammunition and we're going to put them head to head out on the range and figure out which one of these has the best BC. Now before we get to the testing there are a few things that we need to talk about and first off what is BC and more or less what that is it's a number we assign to a projectile in relation to its resistance to drag or in layman's turn how well it flies. So the higher the number the better BC of the projectile and the more resistant it is to drag and there are of course a couple of other good things about it. It's going to be more resistant to uh, wind drift, it's going to fly flatter, it's going to do a lot of better things downrange and when we're looking at long range match 22 long rifle ammunition that can be a pretty big deal because we we're talking about relatively low BC projectiles here. Enter the star of today's show. This is the FX True Ballistics Chronograph. And I'm just going to tell you, there's a lot of marketing crap out there when it comes to things. But this chronograph is exactly what it is said to be. Since day one, I've just had to turn it on, enter some very basic information, point it in the general direction of the target, and it has picked up every single rimfire shot that I have taken with it to date. Now, while that may seem like, yeah, that's what it should do, I would agree with you, but they're not all like that. So the competitor of this is going to be the Lab Radar, and I can tell you, knowing guys with them and having used those before, sometimes with Rimfire you need aftermarket triggers. It gets very finicky and very hard to set up. This is set on medium sensitivity and has picked up absolutely everything. So far, I'm extremely impressed with the FX Chronograph. And we are going to be using this to geek out on a lot of different things. So if there's something you don't see in this video that we tested, let me know. So of course, just as a technical note, the test mule today is a Monocam Custom Rifle Remex. So this is not an inexpensive rifle and we are not shooting, well generally, not inexpensive ammunition. So I wanted to use this test as a way to also see how reliable this rifle is going to be. If we were going to have any issues to work out and it ran like a top obviously we have the tracked optic on here this is in the xlr industries nv pro chassis with all the bells and whistles you've got gray ops parts on here you got f3r machine mounts we have the timney trigger this is a 24 inch 1.250 straight taper krieger barrel that was smithed up by jonathan at monocam so while the rifle is largely unimportant to this test as we're testing projectiles I did want to let you guys know what we had here. So as you see before us here, you're getting kind of a hint of what we're going to be shooting today. So yes, CCI standard velocity all the way up to our most expensive RWS R50. And let's go ahead and roll to that range footage and I'm going to play them in order from worst to best.
so no surprise there the cci standard velocity was the worst there were some kind of other surprises in there but when you get up to the top when you're talking r50 the sk long range the ely stuff they all have a really high bc and i don't think you know a 0 0.005 difference is enough to really make a determination on so if there's something you want to see tested further maybe we go back and we shoot 20 or 30 rounds of kind of the top performers to see if one kind of pulls ahead of the other just let me know if there's something you want to see if there is something else you would like to see with the fx true ballistics chronograph let me know we're going to do a full review on this and i'm going to show you the ins and outs how to set it up um, it's really easy take you like a minute and a half to do it but uh, we're going to do a video on that in case you're looking at this this is not inexpensive um, i think retail is somewhere around a grand so you know it's definitely not cheap but when you're looking at lab radar and some of these other chronographs for something that's going to give you your bc it's going to show you everything on one screen very easy to use if you're looking to buy that one chronograph this may be it but i hope you guys enjoyed the video We'll catch you on the next one.